Hello everyone, this is Avinash Nankani and I am second year medical student at DIMC Dow University of Health Sciences. Uh, well, back in 2017, when I used to watch random and more vlogs, uh, especially those MK ones like how to study for MK and how life of a medical student in Pakistan is and how life at Dow is and like how to study for MBBS and all stuff like so like random and more helped me in every possible way they could so like i like their cars and like how they are making videos and sharing the experience with the whole mbbs radical student so basically every university has different way of teaching a foundation module starting from dao uh, in dao foundation module is starting from day one of your med school but as far as Jinnah is concerned, Jinnah may, uh, when the med school start, uh, is starting, so they have pre-foundation first and then foundation module. Basically, Dao may be pehle ye hota tha. Uh, they used to have foundation module of six weeks and then two weeks of sub foundation module, which is genetics or microbiology. But now, this is combined with one module, ho and that was, uh, that was this foundation module. But in the past, there is a pre-foundation and then there is a foundation module. Hota hai. And as far as uh, private universities are concerned, except Zaudin and Aga Khan, every private university has the same uh, procedure as Jinnah because these all are affiliated with Jinnah's uh, medical university. Yeah. And Zaudin mein and Aga Khan mein they have introductory module. And as far as subjects are concerned, Dao mein in first year you have all subjects, but in Jinnah, Petho, and uh, Pharmacology are not starting from first year. They are starting from third year of JSMU and all private medical colleges except Zaudin and AKU. AKU and Zaudin mein is like same as Dao, most of first day se start hote hain, like so. As far as foundation module is concerned, there are basically nine subjects in foundation module, and three subjects are major, and the major subjects are anatomy, uh, biochemistry, and physiology. And anatomy is subdivided into three subjects, and those are gross anatomy, histology, embryology. So I suggest to start studying from histology. And for histology, I'll suggest you guys to use this book. Medical Histology by Lai Hussain Siddiqui. I personally used this book and found this really beneficial. And you have to study chapter number 1 to 8 and chapter number 15. It means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and chapter number 15. Uh, many people will suggest you to use Janquaira. So I'll recommend to use Lai Hussain as your main book and Janquaira for the histological slides. So study. Like Hussain and use Genquera to see the histological diagrams and slides. That's all. So once you are done with the histology, move to the gross anatomy. And many of you will listen that there are basically uh, gross anatomy ke liye like two books hai, Gray's hai, KLMA and there's another one BD Chorasia. So many su seniors will suggest you to use BD Chorasia. And many people also suggest you to use KLM and many people also suggest you to use Grace. So it's totally up to you but uh, I will suggest you guys to use this book. BD Chaurasia's Handbook of General Anatomy and this is complete handbook. This isn't a, a large course book or something else but like this is a handbook. So almost you have to study this whole book but chapter number 1 to 9 and chapter number 11. So study, you have to basically study this whole book and this is really a good book so I'll uh, definitely recommend this and but if you are studying KLM uh, then for KLM you can use it basically for KLM you have to study from chapter no wait page number 1 to 70 there are chapter 1 and pages page number 1 to 70 yeah so 70 pages and this covers your whole gross anatomy so it's up to you but i'll definitely recommend this gross anatomy because i use this book once you're done with gross anatomy there's a website teachmeanatomy.com so go to its basic section 
there's a section basics so go to it and recap all the stuff you have studied in BD Chorasia or KLM or whatever from it once you're done with uh, Gross Anatomy start studying Embryology and for Embryology I would recommend to study Dr. Najib's videos first and those are really important and uh, like it's worth your time those are lengthy and but it's like uh, important to uh, listen to Dr. Najib because he's the person who can build your concepts in Embryology or in many other subjects but like Embryology for foundation uh, Najib's videos are must uh, I will drop the link uh, the description for the Najib subscription so because most of you uh, get confused that how to get Najib's videos because YouTube picks are available near so I will drop the link in the description so you can just go to the link and uh, subscribe to the Dr. Najib's website and it's just $5 I guess it's a new year offer so once you're done with the Dr. Najib's video uh, I'll recommend to go through this book Langman's Medical Embryology try to get the latest version of every book so I guess 14th is the latest version I don't know if 15 is there or not but yeah this is the book I used for my embryology so I'll definitely recommend to use Langman but many of uh, many people will suggest you to use KLM it's up to you the best way to decide which to use is go to the library take both books take a single topic so suppose mitosis or whatever and study from both books and decide which book is easier to you to understand which is easy for you to understand so that's the best trick to decide which book to use that's what I used in my first year once you are done with embryology this is the complete anatomy section you are done with anatomy so now two major sections like two major subjects of foundation module are left and second major subject is biochemistry so for biochemistry I'll definitely recommend Lepin code so basically many of you will uh, see in the lecture slides or many seniors will suggest to use Harper's too but I didn't find Harper's as a beneficial book because it was too lengthy and I didn't have that much time but Harper is a good book but it was difficult for me to understand so I will definitely recommend Lipin code and Lipin codes biochemistry is like the best book and what chapters to study from Lipin codes biochemistry uh, the chapter number one chapter number two chapter number 5, 6, 7, chapter number 16, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31st and 32 so basically these are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 chapters for the foundation module from Lipin Codes Biochemistry once you are done with the biochemistry there's the third most important like the major subject of foundation module and that one is physiology so basically for physiology I will recommend you guys to use the only one book and that one is Guyton and Hall textbook of medical physiology I don't know if it's the latest version or not but like this is the volume one basically it's the large book so I got volumes of this book volume one and volume two so that it is handy for me to carry but uh, for physio, for foundation module, you have to study five chapters from Guyton and Hall, and the chapter numbers are chapter number one, two, three, four, and chapter number 60, 60. So these five chapters will cover your whole foundation levels. Once you are done with physiology, here ends your major subjects of foundation module. After the physiology. I will suggest you guys to start studying pathology and for patho I will suggest you guys to use this book Robbins Pathologic Passes of Disease so basic, uh, basically there are two books of Robbins one is Passes of Diseases and one is Passes of Disease so basic is basically 
uh, summarized form of basses because basses this is the volume 1 of basses and there is complete volume 2 like double of it so this is the whole basses this is the lengthy book so I will recommend you guys to use this but I also didn't use it I used Pathoma so because I was out of time so I had to use this book Pathoma but this is the best book I've ever used in pathology but if you have time I would recommend you guys to go through Robbins because this was the mistake I made in my first year but pathologic uh, Pathoma is also one of the best book but if you're studying Pathoma just don't study this book there are separate videos of Pathoma you can easily get CD from the bookshop or you can get into your USBs from your seniors but study Pathoma with videos by Dr. Abdul Sattar so you have to study chapter number one from Pathoma for pathology of foundation module and chapter number one and chapter number five from page number 135 to 173 yeah so basically chapter number one complete and chap from, uh, in, from chapter number five you have to study from chapter number, uh, page number 135 to 173 yeah so this covers your pathology of foundation module once you are done with the pathology of foundation module start with the microbiology of foundation module for microbiology you can you have two choices because this is not the major subject either do it from your lecture slides the slides which are given to you by your teachers or just go through this book but I'll recommend you guys to go through this book as well so I recommend this Levinson's review of medical microbiology and immunology so basically there are two sections microbio and immuno in this book but you have to study microbiology because immunology isn't in foundation module so you have to study microbiology and chapter number one and two of microbiology from Levinson we get the latest edition I guess it's 15 so once you're done with microbiology start studying path, uh, pharmacology this is the last subject of this isn't the last subject but like this is the main you cannot say man but like the important subject one of the most important subject of medicine pharmacology so for pharma I will definitely recommend you guys to use this book Lipin Cod uh, you can also use Katzung but as I suggested you guys in histology to use Ligosin and Genquera so I will recommend you guys to use Lipin Codes Pharmacology is your main textbook and for diagrams and for tables of pharma use the Katzen review of pharmacology so once you are done reading this book uh, pharmacology, uh, Lipin Codes Pharmacology use Katzen to review the tables of medicine uh, from the Katzen's pharmacology uh, so what chapters to study from Lipin Codes Pharmacology the chapter number are let me it. so basically you have to study unit one complete and from unit one there are two chapters chapter number one and chapter number two you have to cover these four chapters from the pin codes pharmacology and that's all for your foundation module and there are two other subjects left and those are community medicine and behavioral science and for those subjects I will recommend you guys to not ignore them but like if you have time go through them and for those two subjects I will not suggest any books but definitely lecture slides just go through the slides and review all the stuff you have been taught in your like uh, classes for these two subjects so yeah this covers your whole foundation module I hope this video was beneficial to you all and in addition to that I will suggest you guys to go to the website like teachmeanatomy.com for the review of your anatomy and for foundation module I'll suggest you guys to use Dr. Najib as I have mentioned before for embryology and yeah one more important thing and that is you can use Dr. Najib videos for biochemistry like there are some major topics and those are transcription, translation, post-translational once translation modification yeah and the application 
and like basically you have to cover whole DNA topic from the Dr. Najib and I'll definitely recommend it because I did same so now these were the outlines and the chapters and the stuff what you have to study for the foundation module one thing I missed in my videos and that was I didn't mention the chapter number of Langman's embryology so basically you have to study from uh, you have to study chapter number 1 to 6 and 8 to 9 so basically 1 2 3 4 5 6 8 and 9 from Langman's medical embryology for the embryology of anatomy section of foundation module so this covers your whole foundation syllabus and outlines and the basic stuff and what stuff I used in my foundation module but make sure to go through the lecture slides those are really important for the review of subjects and make sure to uh, whenever you are studying make your one habit that put your universities uh, syllabus beside you 